and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Prison. That's right, we got a new donation deck here that we're going to be playing. We got two different Esper Control uh, donation decks. So this one we're calling Esper Prison to kind of differentiate between the two. This looks like a dance uh, and a dance with the manse deck kind of without the dance with the manse we still have the we have all of the eggs with our our four golden egg four guild globe kind of thing and um you know we got uh othakaya um and of course doom foretold so we're, we're still playing like a doom foretold deck like this is this is really like the card that the deck is built around doom foretold with having all of the um all of these eggs I, I like just calling this an egg also like they're basically all eggs um kind of makes it easy um so you know we're going doom foretold of course we got to fairy in here everything kaya's wrath for removal but instead of dance with the man to the top end we're calling this prison because we not only have prison realm which i guess that's a prison card then we also got revenge of of ravens makes it difficult for our opponent to attack especially when we can start uh stacking these things up in multiples as well um, you know, give us that extra life gain that we need. Get us to our top end. Our top end is our six mana planeswalkers with Liliana and Ugin. Those are two very good quality six mana planeswalkers. So that's our top end there instead of dance. Like these, these like dance, you, you need eight mana. Um, these you only need six, and you don't have to worry about like not having a graveyard, not having other stuff, um, or anything in the graveyard. We got Liliana and Ugin. Okay, uh, we also have a couple of Midnight Clocks, which I'm excited to play this card. This is um, a card that I'm not sure how good it is, but I could definitely see the use for Midnight Clock here helping us ramp into Liliana and Ugin, get get those things out earlier. I'm not sure how much we'll be doing the whole 12th, ca 12th hour counter thing, but maybe we'll be doing that a little bit. We'll kind of see. Um, so there we go. So th this is our deck here. Um so let's see, how would Bolas' Citadel or Command the Dread Horde work in this? Command the Dread Horde would basically be completely reliant on our opponent and getting our opponent's stuff and you know us hoping to not lose too much life in the process. Um Bolas of Citadel, like we could maybe cast, you know, like two, maybe three things, but then we'd have to be kind of worried about our life total after that. I think the Liliana and Ugin are probably better win conditions where we don't have to be taxing our life total too much. We got a couple of blast zones down here to go with all these shock lands, the fable passages, and everything. So we're Orzov splashing for Midnight Clock and Teferi Time Raveler in the main and just a veto in the board. So very Orzov control here. All right, so with this being a donation deck, we're going to go ahead and, and play a league, see if we get to five wins before we can get to two losses. So here we go. Yeah, I decided to, to move on from, from Soul Tie with uh, and just go straight to the donation decks, with both of these being slower donation decks and everything. Yeah, can control decks take a while? It was. Um, I had this is my first time seeing somebody use the My Little Pony sleeves. It was ambitious, ambitious, to expect. To expect myself to be able to play um, four decks today, honestly. With it being control day. So it looks like we got a mirror match. I wonder how a mirror match is going to go. At least Midnight Clock has a cool sound. 
the cool sounding clock. Whoa. Okay, so they're going, they're like straight up Orzov. I guess I could have played the Goblet Shrine. I don't have to worry as much about, like I, I could, you know, I could have tapped the Midnight Clock for mana, so I could have just played the Goblet Shrine in here and tapped. Midnight Clock. All right, this is absurd. We're just, you know, trading Doom for Tolds, basically. Nine already. Oh, I'm sorry, Elder Two. Oh, that's bad luck. All right, I can exile the token. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. What do you have? You have four loyalty? Okay, good. It does trigger whenever they attack a planeswalker control as well. Uh, you beat me. Well done. Look to see me no more. Well, that's absurd. My army will it What a good mindless minion. Hmm.
no, so yeah, I'm, I'm planning on, I'm going to try to, you know, if we draw a land here, I, I can play Ugin and Teferi the same turn, so I can bounce the Spyglass and Ugin kill Liliana. That was kind of my plan to kill the Kaya, but Don't now we got to kill Liliana. You better watch your back from here on out. Spyglass is on Ugin. I kind of need to kill this Kaya, though. This Kaya ult is going to kill me. Ugh. You probably don't need that many adventure creatures to make Innkeeper worth it. Probably like, you want the lowest number possible, probably like eight. That Liliana draw, really rough. Hmm. I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to win this. Stand by and watch. I've got time. Okay. Could have been worse. I, you know, I was, I was just kind of going for the hopeful, hopefully top deck land right there. Looks like you're on your own now. So I get it. I have to get above. We will meet again. That's unfortunate. I wanted them to have to attack the fairy to help me gain life. That's really unfortunate. Okay. You beat me this time. That keeps them Bravo. that gives me another turn before they ultimate Kaya. That's good for me. That was, yeah, that was definitely good for me that they minused. So they're not just threatening ultimate this next turn. If they would have just ticked up and attacked, I'd be pretty dead. So we're good. So it, I won't have time. No, so I'm going to be played. I'm going to play Doom Foretold and Kaya's Wrath. Because now we can Kaya's Wrath with Liliana gone. So this has worked out for me. This is good. So you've been playing a deck like this, but you're going to Abzan for Vraska, Assassin's Trophy, and Rampage of the Clans. That's pretty sweet. Swift End. I 
mean, I guess that was Murderous Rider, not Swift End. Um, yeah, I saw that there were leaked Theros cards, but I don't know very much about them. I didn't really, um, I didn't take a look at them too closely. What do you mean historic is a once per month format? What does that mean? Spyglass just doesn't seem like a very great option against Doom Foretold. I think, let's see, so this is 66. I, I'm thinking maybe no Revenge of Ravens. Yeah, I don't think this is necessarily a Revenge of Ravens matchup. If they if they cast Dance, I want to be able to have Kaya's Wrath to clean it up. Yeah, Liliana Ugin are our main win conditions. I mean, we have stuff like Castle, Doom Foretold, that makes a token and stuff like that. No, I think Spyglass is just going to get sacrificed to Doom Foretold on, on one of the sides. I don't want to play it. Yeah, I know Revenge is good against Afterlife. I mean, I could... I got to cut something, though. Play one... So I'll try getting rid of some Doom for Tolls. I don't know what I'm supposed to cut. <laughs> no, I don't I don't need more cards in the deck. I need less cards in the deck. Yeah, Devout Decree. I mean I I don't have room for Devout Decree. I'm playing Elder Spell instead. Like Othakaya is the kind of card that isn't great on its own, but it's very good with all these Doom Foretolds. Are they just not playing Teferi themselves? No, Hawkeye's not been on stream today yet. He's, well, I guess he's not laying on the couch anymore.
Oh, they're yeah, they're just Orzhov. I guess that makes sense why they're not playing Teferi. Wait, so then they're not playing Dance? But they're just Orzhov? I guess I missed that. I guess I missed they're just Orzhov. Well then should have sideboarded a little bit differently. I like a good fight. All right, so we're going to, uh, you know, like, with the two triggers, we're going to sack our Doom Foretold to their Doom Foretold, and then our trigger will happen. We'll discard to Fairy, dr draw a new card. So we'll be able to cycle that. Get our 2-2. Two -two. Um, let's play you. No, I don't know Hawkeye's birthday. He was a stray cat originally. Them have yeah, I, I think the golden egg was the best card in their hand, especially against I'm known for my excellent timing. Especially against like the multiple Doom Foretolds, the one on their side, one on my side. Um, I could I could have got rid of their Doom Foretold, but then my Doom Foretold was going to be really bad against Double Egg on their side. Yeah, we played two yeah, we played two green decks and a like four color deck that had green in it also. I do hope you make this battle. So yeah, Demir Demir anti green did its job, did really good. Okay, Esper Prison with the win. Awesome. Yeah. Had the midnight clock up for the blue mana there. Looks like midnight clock MVP getting us that blue mana. Okay, not so sure about the whole MVP part, but it was good. Um, the anti green deck, I'm waiting for the. It's ready to go up on YouTube. I'm waiting for the thumbnail, though. Let me check. Yeah, basically, I don't have a thumbnail for it right now. But it's it's uploaded, and, and that's ready to go there with the upload. Ugh, looking for black mana.
Seriously? <laughs> Everybody just playing this stuff now? What is this? Hey, Tom Mech. Thank you so much there, Tom. Thanks for that sub. I appreciate that. Don't you know how this works? Whatever you play, you'll just face mirrors. Oh. Why would you tap both blue sources? Okay, yeah, Malice, yeah, I was playing uh, the Soul Typhoon deck. Undead uh, you better... Played it on Monday I'm gonna make myself um, in Best of One over there. Or, did I play it on Monday? I don't know, I played it recently on stream. That deck, that deck was fun to play, and so yeah, I've, I've queued into it a couple of times here recently. Mardu? Mar, don't mind if I do. I know more than you could learn in the ether itself serves me. Yeah, probably Outlaw's Merriment. be fires of invention now probably some red enchantment they want to get rid of with or they some red enchantment that since I have Ugin All right, let's try this. Gonna take out the Kaya's Wraths. Keep a couple of Revenge of Ravens in. I don't know. Anna Tran. Thank you so much there, Zerf. Thanks for the gifted sub. I'm not sure how many... Or, like, sorry. I'm not sure how long it will be until I have the, the thumbnail for the Demir deck. So I may just post it on YouTube here without a thumbnail. Um, let's get you out here. <laughs> Revenge of Raisins. Stop eating so many grapes. The Revenge of Raisins. Cool, Bertalux. Glad, yeah, glad, glad helping. Boo. 
don't really like drawing the the two Revenge of Ravens. It's kind of like last card in here that is just like another permanent for Doom Foretold kind of thing. All right, I guess I'm just going to publish it with, with no thumbnail. Midnight Clock. Some Halloween music tomorrow. We'll probably do some. I don't, we're not going to do the whole 12 hours of Halloween music. But, yeah, I can do some Halloween music. We'll have, um, of course, just the, the soundtrack for Nightmare Before Christmas is amazing. That's my favorite Halloween music. Is there other Halloween music? Even? That may be the only Halloween music there is in existence. Support that soundtrack choice? Nice. No, I have and I won't be playing Pioneer. I just play Arena. That's not on Arena. The monster, yeah, that's true. Monster Mash. That's a Halloween song. That's that's true. It's honestly not bad for me. Of different options here. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'll just play Divination to Fairy. You know, so I, of course, I can Prison Realm Cavalier. But then they destroy my prison realm, they get Cavalier back and get that trigger back. I don't love that. Hmm. I wasn't blocking anyway. Yeah, save the Halloween for music for later on whenever it gets dark. That's true. Yeah, the Simic Food decks are definitely the most consistent things to be doing in this metagame here. I just tap both black sources. Good tap. Alright, I guess we'll get rid of the Cavalier. Yay, land. Boo, Liliana. <laughs> Rise and shine. Thanks, Matthew. Hmm. So I want to kill Liliana. I want more black mana. This does mean that Ugin will die. I came into being long before your kind. Fine. Bathe in ghost fire. So they trade six drops and they get a 2-2. Two -two. But I think that's okay because they only have one card left in hand. We have six. 
We have five. Why did I say six? We have five. Death comes for us all. <laughs> just tap all three black sources. Yeah, just tap all four black sources. Stop. Tapping so bad. There you go. I have to play my land first. I know I can get rid of the guild globes for extra sources, but I don't want to do that. Four color wilderness reclamation dance with the manse. Hydroid Crisis deck. Hmm. Being able to play Doom Foretold and then untap your lands would be pretty nice. I'm not going to play the Ugin until I have Veto Protection, which I guess is technically right now. This one should just be a pretty easy win from here. We'll see, though. I don't even know what this is doing. I guess they're casting the creature. Okay. It's hard to tell like what, what they're actually doing. You have to like look at like what lands are being tapped. It's it's not very It's not too informative. <laughs> uh, that deals six damage to my opponent for just attacking and I gain six life. It highlights the side of the card that's being cast. That was not wise. I suppose. Not much of a highlight. It's the brighter side. What do I look like? The killers? Secrets manifest before. How am I supposed to tell what the brighter side is. <laughs> I guess it's easy to tell. Everybody else is saying it is. No, Matthew, you just play you just play Teferi. You'd never play Blue Ley Line. Castle's really good. My opponent does not have too much of a chance here. Dang. Now they really don't. Ether itself serves me. I require servants. Your corpse. You don't yeah, you don't need to cast artifacts and enchantments at instant speed. Like a fun new toy. I was, thinking, I was thinking the dance part. 
<laughs> You're playing the anti-green deck right now. Your gruel opponent is hating you right now. Nice. The crueler the opponent. Uh, I'm gone for now, but not forever. I mean, I don't, I don't really know why I would use blast zone from here. Good help is easy to find in war. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Right on schedule. I've got it. Am I dematerializing? Huh. Jeez. Our win con are all those 2 2 creatures. Yep, we just overwhelm them with 2 2s. Ultimate Liliana was going to be happening pretty soon. And they can't, they can't really attack us. I mean, also, you can have Revenge of Ravens being a, a win condition because, you know, eventually they attack us, they die. To triggers. Yeah, Revenge of Ravens in standard. Yeah, I love Ugin's plus one. I mean, yeah, Ugin's plus one's very good, and um, Liliana's plus one. Also, they're pretty similar. Kind of. So they're both very good. No black mana. We've been a little low on black mana a couple of times. Whoa! Revapa, thank you so much for gifting some subs. I really appreciate that. We're playing against Jeskai stuff. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Um. Yeah, we got six new subscribers. Y'all get some hype in for our new subs. Okay. So I want to That's more like The it. problem with bouncing the golden egg is it makes playing Doom Foretold next turn worse, which is which is like really the, the thing that I the reason why I don't want to bounce golden egg. But bouncing golden egg does allow me to um I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Does give me another card to, to play next turn. The sub hive. Thank you so much there, Vapa. So yeah, so that Alright, so that's our second sub goal of the day. So for the, the sub goals that get us towards our next 12 hour streams. Up as I go. Hey, Corbin. Thanks for the, the sub hype there. Okay, so that's our second one. We have we have a 12 hour stream tomorrow that we're going to be doing, which will be a lot of fun, as, as you can see over there at 12 Eastern. And then this will work towards our next one after that. So we're two out of 20 sub goals towards our next one. If you show remorse. I'll show restraint. 
Bounce Doom foretold. Don't worry, I got this. So let's get rid of this. We'll get rid of their two things. And then, of course, I'll have to just sacrifice my two Doom Foretolds. So that got rid of Fires of Invention. Yeah, any good decks you can craft from Golos Field. Yeah, I haven't been seeing too much. Yeah, cause yeah, you had the you had that deck before it got banned. I haven't really haven't been seeing too much Golos. Um, I feel like there's there's somebody playing Golos. No, not that. Um, I am doing a little bit of research for you here. Recklessness and fear. Here you go. Truth lies this was a 5 0 list from yesterday. Mission. Using Golos. Aside from Oko, what is the most annoying card in the format? I don't like Mass Manipulation, Agent of Treachery, like those cards. I think those cards are really annoying. That's what I would choose. So they're going to grab Casualties of War. Do they have a third Fires of Invention? They already played their two spells, and now like they know that I'm just going to have Ugin destroy this thing. They got a third fires in hand. Destroy. I guess we'll find out. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Hopefully not. Rise. Hopefully no more fires. Oh, come on. It's rude. Yeah, Teferi, um, Teferi's a definitely an annoying card to play against for sure. <laughs> hey, what's up, campfire? All right, so they're destroying the castle. Makes sense. I guess they're just deciding between Ugin and Liliana. Yeah, so I'll, I should be able to. I should still draw the card here, even if they destroy Liliana. Okay, they're not. They're not destroying a creature. They don't want me to draw a card. I could minus four and draw two. What a good mindless minion.
Because now all they have to do is just kill Liliana and then Clarion, and then I am just left with nothing. Where if I would have minus four, I would have drawn two more cards that kill Liliana, but then they don't have to, they don't have to Clarion then at that point though. This kind of, I guess this forces them to be able to kill Liliana and then Clarion, and do both of those. Could always go for planar cleansing. More casualties. No, Ugin is not an artifact, so no. This is just a colorless planeswalker. It, it has to say, like, artifact in the type. You know, like, this says artifact. That's just a planeswalker with no color. Karn's not an artifact either. I mean, there was like the artifact Karn, the silver golem in like Urza Saga, but the Karn in standard is not. I will rise again. Fortunately, I need another land to be able to go up to four blast zone with this thing. Yeah, you only draw whenever you play with egg. Activating it did nothing. I could have I could have gained life, but I would rather get the extra counter on the blast zone than gaining three life. Let us fight. Let's slow this down. Here we go. That is really nice getting two spells for free and then bouncing fire so you can play more things. Me drawing basically all my Revenge of Ravens and Kaya's Ras. <laughs> Not nice. Okay, too many casualties of war. Well, too many of these really dead cards that we're definitely taking out. Spyglass is just going to get casualtied. Kind of the same, same with Prison Realm, though. Othakaya like kills Narset and Teferi after they play it. Uh, can use Decree just to exile Sarkin.
Yeah, Noxious Grasp kills Teferi. That's the only thing it's killing in their entire deck, is just Teferi. There's not a single other card that it that it destroys, so I don't want to play it. No, I'm not going to have the, the Prison Realms. They have a lot of disenchants. They have a lot, lot of ways to get rid of enchantments. I'd have to say that maybe my least favorite part about this deck so far has been these Blast Zones. <clears throat> All they've done is just made my, my Kaya's Wrath mana worse. Kind of seems like all they're going to do. Hey, you're you're all good, Zadi. Yeah, they're they're good for, against aggro decks. Probably, I don't. I mean, having being able to like cast Kaya's Wrath on turn four seems more important against an aggro deck still, though. Because of the matchup, that that maybe should have just been a Teferi last turn. Are they just holding up Mystical Dispute? No. Nope. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. The bouncing bouncing the egg last game did hurt me. For sure over the long haul not having the egg to sacrifice the doom foretold that was a big play sorry i'm late this might be a bad idea let's try this only a matter of time. Oh, uh, whoops. Wrong one. I guess they're actually different. Yeah, I could definitely have Unmored Ego in the, in the sideboard for this matchup. You would, you would name Fae of Wishes. Their deck without Fae of Wishes is not too scary. Land would have been great there for Ugin destroying fires and then playing a, an egg and a globe. Yeah, Ranger, I saw that there there were the, the Theros Beyond Death leaks, but I haven't really looked into the cards too much. I basically just saw that they were they were there, but didn't really inspect them or, or think about them too much. So yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. That's a good card. They, I mean, oh, they can't. It's they can't in spe instant speed. I was, <laughs> they can't instant speed because of fires and because of Teferi. A lot of reasons why they can't cast that as an instant. I was gonna say that they could they could wait for me to have to sacrifice first, but
I'll protect you. Yeah, it's possible that Oko could get banned on November 18th. It's not necessarily likely, but it's possible. I think it's pretty likely that something in green gets banned, whether or not that's Oko, who knows, or you know, it could be something else also. I don't think that the Oko sells too many packs thing is, is really that. I don't, I mean, I don't think that Oko, like, the, I don't think Oko's price is going to go down too much, even if it's banned. I mean, it will some, and it will, it will immediately. But I think that, uh, that really hurts. Maybe I should just bounce this fires. I thought about, like, getting rid of my Teferi just to bounce that fires. But it's the kind of card that it, it gets played in so much in, in all the other formats, it's going to rebound just fine. And it's still going to be worth a lot, and so people are still going to want to buy packs kind of thing. And there's a lot of other good cards in the set, too. You just let me know that Casualties of War card is just killing me. I guess I should have bounced. That was a tough call. That was obviously just the, the very worst case scenario. All right, but we picked a couple of lands back up, so we'll be able to play Ugin next turn at least. have drawn three fires of invention right away both of these games though because we've destroyed two fires and they've had a, a third one a backup still that's been pretty unfortunate Hone your prowess. Yeah, I, I, I agree, Borderland Ranger, that the sells pack argument doesn't doesn't hold up too well. It's still it's still gonna be a very valuable card. I'm a Rangers fan. What's up, Z Lemons? I summon you. Thanks for the sub there, Z Lemons, at number 21 today. Another time, Planeswalker.
really wish I had something to do with Devout Decree. I could double spell. Not just have Devout Decree be my entire turn. Necromancer has a nice ring to it. From battle to the grave. So I guess I'm going to do that so that next turn I have Decree for Sarkin and then Ugin. I just don't think I can just spend two mana Might as power. my entire turn. Even though my Liliana, I'm you know not really cashing in my Liliana for much. I was not I am exhausted. All right, this time they got me. I had a couple of turns with Teferi. Where the decisions I made ended up not being, not working out, that like got really punished right away. Game one, if I just don't bounce my egg, I think we're in a such such a better spot with uh, with not having to sacrifice my doom foretold. I think that, that was a killer. And then... Game number, and then game number two here. If I if I would have bounced their fires of invention, we would have been in a much better spot. I have learned little here. So I'm not sure about keeping the Teferi with them having the Narset. We don't get to draw off of a bounce. But it kind of feels like a powerful enough card that I should be keeping. I would love for them to bounce Fae of Wishes, which it looked like they were going to start doing that. This my plan but obviously what they should do is just attack my Ugin. Yeah, they're going to do that. Yeah, that's true. Yep, I, I get to draw on their turn with Castle. I should just crack this egg. We do have a couple of Command the Dread Hordes, which could be incredible, so I, I should crack this egg here. Seriously? We just have the fourth fires? Ugh. I've already destroyed four fires and inventions, and they have another one.
known for my excellent timing. I could make like a 1 1 to chump block that thing also, but I'd rather activate the Black Castle. I could have just not played Teferi and then just gone Black Castle and White Castle. Is it like my turn? Bleh. But the problem with that is then they just put this Fae of Wishes back into their hand and then they, and they do all the Fae of Wishes stuff. I kind of wanted to have like the one loyalty planeswalker and not let. Not, Incentivize them to put Fae of Wishes back in their hands. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Only time will tell. Um, this is not great. Show remorse, I'll show restraint. This might be a bad idea. I, yeah, I'm not sure how difficult this matchup actually is. I think I had two decisions with Teferi that ended up doing the, the wrong thing that really hurt. And also, I think my opponent drew very, very, very well. They just had all of their fires of inventions early on in both of these games. Hope it's not too hot for you. With a bunch of favorite, like they Like, my opponent has drawn incredibly well. I feel like the, we would win a majority of the matchup, though. Like, I think Doom Foretold is just awesome here. It just hasn't worked out like that in these games. But this is hardly each work. game I had a Teferi decision early on that I ended up doing the wrong decision for how it... I, I wouldn't necessarily say that like at the time I would, I would definitely do something different. But just how the games have played out, they've ended up not working out. Yeah, and that's what, when somebody asked about Unmored Ego earlier, uh, I said that the card to Unmored Ego is Fae of Wishes. It's the the best card in their deck by, you know, like a, a very wide margin. It's it's the only scary card. But it's good. Opponent got it. I think at that point, getting we're about to get a third. Oh, let me reset Arena here. Let me cancel this. It's it's getting laggy. About to get a third Chandra Emblem. I think at that point, you know, like we're we're drawing. You know, we're trying to draw like our Elder spells and our Command the Dread Hordes, stuff like that. I think it's just kind of too late.
Okay, two and one. Do you think best of one should be 60 card decks and not have sideboard at all is the question. You know, so you can't have like Fae of Wishes with like, you know, the 15 card sideboard and best of one. I mean, the, the point of that Revel with your king. What? One bite, and all your cares are gone. The, I think the point of having, like, why... I'm known for my Because, yeah, like, a card like Fae of Wishes, it's like, work. it's kind of designed for best of one, honestly. Trying to make it so it's not all aggro all the time. Um... It is, it's very, very powerful in best of one. It's it's much more powerful than in best of three, for sure. Go ahead. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Hmm. Would be a good time for Doom Foretold. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if, if it needs to be changed though, so you can't have that. It's not poison. Trust me. I think it's probably okay. Sacrifices must be made. From time to time. I've got it. Hmm. So I had to have Ugin kill Vraska this turn, otherwise Vraska ultimates. And I'm in a lot of trouble. Welcome to the feast. It's only a matter of time. I mean, I guess I could... No, I can't Liliana. No, actually, I, I just can't Liliana. Because then Ugin, Ugin turns that thing into a creature and kills me. Vraska <laughs> just has to go. It's a thumbnail for the Demir anti-flash now, so let's update that. Or Demir anti-green. I shall withdraw from this petty squabbling. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Uh... 
That looks like a difficult battlefield to deal with. Um, <sighs> okay, what do we got? Ooh, Kai's Wrath. That's a good card. Um, here, just, now don't use the golden egg. Uh, okay, there we go. Maybe I'm just supposed to play the Re Revenge of Ravens there, take a lot of damage. Together, but then Kaya's Wrath. Ugh. Yeah, Kaya's Wrath would have been better for the next turn. Rise, my elemental friend. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to take play Revenge of Ravens Welcome there. To the feast. So would have just killed the swamp though additionally. Crowl Harpooner now. No, you can never kill Oko with damage. It's just not possible. Oh dear. The land fights for us. It's a lot easier for it's a lot easier for aggro decks to go underneath Nissa than go underneath Oko. Be a good time for a Kai's Wrath. That may do it, honestly. Oh, never mind. I mean, they have to be careful. If they just attack me, they die. They just attack me with all this stuff. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should have just Othakai had face, honestly. This Krasis is the thing that can kill me. Wow. That's a bad attack. I'm very glad they made that attack, though. Come on, Kaya's Wrath. Mm. So I play Liliana. I 
Lily Minus just doesn't do anything. Getting rid of like two of these cre these creatures don't matter. Lily Plus, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll just Lily Plus. Oh, I don't even know if I Lily Plus matters. Because they can just Rise steal it with Oko. Right. I kind of forgot about them gaining life with food. I forgot that they get to do that there for a second. So yeah, we're probably not killing them. All right, I'm dead. I've learned much from your death. Welcome to the feast. There's not a single person that said that Assassin's Trophy should be banned. Be wary of the ground you walk. Nobody ever said that ever. I didn't even have it in my top 20 of standard cards from Guilds of Ravnica. That was close. That was pretty close. All right, so we're gonna get bring in a grasp spyglass. Does seem like I should be playing elder spell, maybe also. I don't know. I guess not with us having Noxious Grasp. Like, I have to cut three cards. Not sure exactly what to cut. Let's cut the Teferis. Yeah, maybe I should have um, maybe played Do like the one Devon's Veto instead of one Elder Spell. Be able to counter Veil of Summer, that would be nice. Alright, so I've, of course my best draws are the, the eggs. Try to get some eggs here for these Doom Foretolds. A lot of planeswalker removal right now in my deck. Not sure if we need a second elder spell. Fine. And remain blind. Between. Uh, gosh, I don't have mana now though. Between all the the prison realms, the doom foretolds, the I just brought in three noxious grasp.
That hurts. That's a card I really want. My plan this turn was to Othakaya the bird, though, which is why I didn't keep it. Looks like they're struggling on lands as well. Hmm. No land. I guess maybe I should have just cut Prison Realm because of that card, Golgari Queen. I kind of forgot about that card, honestly. So I could have just cut the Prison Realms. That's what I probably should have done. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. This blast zone it's certainly hurting. right there. I gotta get rid of one of these. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Still not too bad of a trade for us. I'm listening. It was probably going to die anyway. So am I supposed to get rid of that with Prison Realm, or am I supposed to just play Doom Foretold and just trade Doom Foretold for Vraska? I don't think I'm supposed to trade Doom for Toll for Frasca. I won't forgive this. Okay, so like maybe I'm supposed to just play Ugin. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to just go Ugin minus three. Even Ugin tick up. I kind of just f forgot about you know I was just you know thinking I was gonna be playing that land and tap tonight honestly and I just kind of forgot about that I'd have. Six mana, <laughs> to be honest there. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Smelly, but effective. Will not fail. Harness the elements. Do not. 
not ruin my dress. Death is enlightened. When you understand reality, you understand yourself. Double Brontodon? What? They just scooped? It's weird. All right, so double Brontodon. Yeah, let's get rid of these prison realms. They're not actually gonna kill stuff. Let's get this Elder Spell in here. Maybe a Veto. I'm gonna play some of these Teferis. Yeah, Spyglass pretty strong, and Scoop. <laughs> Gotta get inside more Spyglasses. That's, I mean, that's what I was going to do, is name Brontodon. Like, that was my plan. I was going to have Ugin kill Nyssa and name Brontodon so they couldn't, you know, destroy my prison realm and stuff. So don't love having the two six drops. One, and also two, not sure what land I need with this Fable Passage. It could be, like, any of them. All right, well, Godless Shrine's a good draw. Now we don't have to Fable Passage until turn four. Um, no, I don't really have any Soul Type Food decks planned right now. Upcoming. I don't have too much of a plan, though. Um, we played that Soul Type food deck the other day that I've been really liking with Trail of Crumbs. I've played that a couple of times offline. Uh, in best of one. Trail of Crumbs is fun to play. Okay, good. I named the correct Oko. Good. Yeah, Command the Dread Horde. That's a good over the top card for sure. Are we playing four? Kai's Wraths? Yeah. Can we get more of those? Doesn't feel like we're playing enough of those. Maybe like a Time Wipe or two in here. I mean, I guess we do have the... Seek shelter in my stewardship. Do you have the Doom Foretold also? The land shall conquer you!
fight on without me. Kind of need Kaiserath. Yep, need Kaiserath. Ugh, that won't do it. Go Liliana minus, they sack these two things. Still not a Kai's Wrath. Yep, I got plenty of slots for donation decks tomorrow, Brett. We we don't have Legion's End, unfortunately. Trust me, I have a plan. No, the double revenge did not get me there in game one. What a strange and magnificent world. Hey, what's up, Ripper? You're here. Um, if you don't mind waiting until tomorrow, I'll do your donation deck in ranked. Um, the the rankings reset. I'm at like number. I'm at. I'm ranked like number two hundred something right now, and the rankings reset tomorrow. And so I just want to make. I just want to stay there and make sure that we're ranked in the top twelve hundred. So I don't want, I don't want to play any more ranked until tomorrow. Down, down, down. All right, so we went two and two. Okay, yeah, yeah, because I'm at two forty one and it ends in nineteen hours. Two forty nine and ends in nineteen hours. So I'm just gonna stay there. <clears throat> cool. Yeah, so we'll we'll do the event. I mean there's there's still just good good decks in the events and everything here. You know, like like we just played. Alright, so anyway, that's that's our Esper Prison deck. Uh, it did feel like I mean we have the four Kaya's Wrath and the four Doom Foretold. I guess like if we don't draw Doom Foretold or Kaya's Wrath, we're kind of in trouble. I I wouldn't mind having you know like a time wipe. In the sideboard, maybe probably not two time wipes, probably just one. I still, I wasn't very impressed at all with Midnight Clock, to be honest. I don't, I don't really think we need Midnight Clock. I think maybe if, like, just the Midnight Clocks being interaction, like maybe a time wipe with a Midnight Clocker or, or like Legion's End. It's two cards. I, I feel like our deck should definitely have Legion's End in here somewhere. The first matchup that we lost, though, to the the Jeskai deck, I I feel like I will. I could win that most of the time. It just didn't go our way. Um, but then, yeah, well, then we also lost the Simic deck, where it was basically if we would draw a Wrath, there's a good chance that we win that with our Planeswalkers. But we just didn't draw a Wrath kind of thing. Anytime you want, Brett. It's all open. Uh, no, I think I think uh, uh, Masker Girl, I think she's going to be too slow. And you rely on your opponent having a, a one-toughness creature, which doesn't always happen. I would much rather have Time Wipe, which is reliable of destroying all the creatures kind of thing. 
Uh, no, this is not really a planar cleansing deck. We have too many permanents. Um, I don't think we'd want planar cleansing. You definitely don't want planar cleansing and prison realm together. If you sideboard out prison realm, maybe you could play it, but you definitely don't want those together. Yeah, I can start off at, if you want me to play your deck at noon tomorrow, I can start your, off with your deck tomorrow, Brett. Not a problem there. Um, so yeah, uh, Giant Sweeper is an option also, if we don't want to play Time Wipe. Yeah, the, like Realm Cloak Giant, that's also an option where you can just recast Realm Cloak Giant later. Which this deck having no creatures, maybe that's better than Time Wipe. It probably is, you don't have to worry about blue mana. And you can also just play a 7-7. Seven, seven. So, so there we go. All right, well, yep, yep, you're welcome, Bertalux. Thanks for the donation deck here. So that's Esper Prison. I have to say the Revenge of Ravens looked pretty good. Doom Foretold was awesome. And Kaya's Wrath, awesome. But yeah, Doom, Doom Foretold was just awesome. And Revenge of Ravens looked pretty good as well. Um... Anyway, there we go. So uh, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave some comments. I always like seeing those as well. So thanks for watching. As per prison, though, and I'll see you for the next video.